I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. Lately, I've been hearing a lot of buzz about the new Humanware Touch note taker. Mike Tyndall from Humanware is going to show us what's going on with this. Good morning. My name is Mike Tyndall. I'm a National Blindness Product Specialist with Humanware. And it's my pleasure today to introduce a brand new device. In March of this year, 2016, we have released the Braille Note Touch. And we're going to take a closer look at this device. So as I mentioned, I want to take a look today at the first certified Google Braille tablet called the Braille Note Touch. This is our fourth generation of Braille Note. We've had the Braille Note Classic, the Empower, the Braille Note Apex, and now the Braille Note Touch. We have four thumb keys on the front as you're used to. We have 32 or 18 Braille cells, cursor router buttons above those, our keyboard, and then in the back we have USB, as well as SD card and an HDMI slot. Um, the Braille Note Touch, if I move down the menu with my far right thumb key, you will see the familiar Braille Note apps on Keysoft that you're used to. We have totally rewritten Keysoft from the ground up, now utilizing the Android platform running Keysoft. Contacts. Key email, key mail, internet, key web, word processor, key word, planner, key plan, file manager, key files, calculator, key calc, Victor reader. Here's the big one. Play Store. You heard Play Store. The reason you hear Play Store is because we can now download any accessible app from the Google Play Store and download it to the Braille Note Touch. I'm going to quickly go into the word processor by typing a W. Word processor. And that's what I want, Keyword. so I'm going to press Enter. I can use first letter navigation across the board using this device. So I'm going to press Enter. Keyword menu. Create. I have create, open, open print, print emboss, emboss, settings. settings. Bottom. So I'm going to choose C to create. I'll press a C. Create. And press enter. Loading. Please wait three periods. And I'm going to say thanks for joining us today. Today. And I see that in contracted braille. If I go to the top, space with L. Top. Do a read all, space with G. Thanks for joining us today. I'll go to the bottom. Bottom. with a 456 chord. So as you can see, space 456, so as you can see all the commands that you know utilizing the Braille Note still works with the Braille Note Touch. Now we call it the Braille Note Touch because this device is actually right now in a case, a humanware smart case that is containing the Braille Note Touch. But the case as a part of the case is this keyboard that you heard me typing on and saw me typing on. So if I flip this back, you now have a 10 inch touch screen where someone sighted can visually see where it says thanks for joining us today. But if I lay my fingers, all 10 fingers on the screen, the unit will find my fingers. Dot six. I, I, C, can, Y, E, type. Three five in two five e r h t one two four r l two five. So I just wrote. Braille. I can type in contracted braille. So if I read that. Top. Thanks for joining us today. I can type in contracted braille. End of document. So now let's save it. So we'll do e chord to exit space with e. Alert exit keyword. Do you want to save your document? I'll say yes. Oh, yes. Yes button. Enter. And edit the same as location slash. I'm just going to call it slash presentation. Slash documents. Name. New document. File type. Dot docs. Save. Cancel. P. R. E. S. 2. T. Dot N. Present keyword menu. Create. So I've now saved my document. I could reopen it if I wanted to. But let me also show you quickly. If 
I go to the main menu? Top. Main menu. Contacts. Key list. I'm going to type in A for all apps. All applications. And press enter. Main menu all apps. I'll type the letter D for docs. Docs. And press enter. So I'm now going to be typing in a Google Docs, Docs. document. Refreshing. Today. So I'm going to type I for a file that I already have created that I'm sharing with someone. It workshop Google. It's opening it the document workshop. now. I'm going to press E edit to edit Docs. the document. I'm going to type Open an E to edit the document. Edit button. So I am edit now box. editing my document. I can go to the bottom of my file. And in contracted six. Braille, I'm going to write H space have H a space lot L of fun. E U N now I wrote space. have a lot of fun. Substituted. And in Braille, I can see substituted logo. Substituted. Have is in contracted Braille, but I'm able to make as many corrections Substitute, as I need to make. And I can then exit with E chord. Substituted of. And I'm actually able to do a D for done. Done. It jumps me right to the done button. I press enter. Done editing. And I've now edited this document typing in contracted Braille. It went up to Google Cloud, came back down, and saved the changes that I made there. So I can collaborate with anyone working on Google Documents. If I, Bottom. I'm going to power the device, I'm going to lock the device, and I'm going to pull it out of the case very quickly just so that you're able to see this is the Braille Note Touch. And it actually is, um, as far as the internet goes, uh, we are running Firefox under the hood of Key Web. So we're able to go to school websites. Students are able to go to any website where they need to be and look at files and, and, and links um, much easier than before because we're using Firefox under the hood of Key Web, as I mentioned. Um, another thing to quickly mention about the device, as I showed you, is first letter navigation across the board to do anything that you want to do, and the ability to download apps from the Google Play Store. And as long as the app is an accessible app, it will certainly work on the Braille Note Touch. If you need more information, uh, contact your local dealer or feel free to give us a call at HumanWare. Our number there is 800-722-3393. The uh, website www.humanware.com. And if you have a local dealer in your area, um, I know that in Kentucky and in Indiana, Lab Computers is your local dealer. Feel free to give Brian a call and uh, we're happy to support you in any way that we can. Thank you for taking a look at the Braille Note Touch. So there's a new and significant development in the field of note takers for people who are users of Braille or blind or visually impaired. That's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.